Now in terms of the laser printer process, let's step through it step by step. In the course notes, I give you a link to the best animation I've ever seen in my life on the laser printer process. It's absolutely outstanding, and I humbly submit that in between what I'm teaching you here in this module and what you'll see in that YouTube video, again, I give that to you in the course notes, you will understand the laser printing process. You do need to memorize these steps for the A+, because they may ask you, what is the first step in the laser printing process? And you need to know that's cleaning. Or they might ask you, what's the step after cleaning. You see what I'm saying? So let's take this piece by piece. First look at the image at left that again shows a side view of the interior of a laser printer. The dotted outline, the, the tiny dots that is, represent the toner cartridge. So you see that the toner cartridge, as I've already told you, contains the light sensitive drum, some developer rollers, and the toner reservoir itself. Now let's check this out. The first step is cleaning, believe it or not. And there's a small blade inside the toner cartridge that passes over the complete surface of the photosensitive drum and removes any stray toner and neutralizes the charge of that main drum to prepare it for the next printing cycle. In step two, we have a stage called processing, alternately called conditioning and charging. And at this point, that drum, the main photosensitive drum, needs to be conditioned to hold a page image. So we have a high negative charge applied to the drum by the primary corona wire. And that charge is evenly distributed across the drum. It creates an electro magnetic field and at this point because we have such a strong negative charge on the drum we can write on it with a positive charge and that's actually the next step. The third stage called writing or exposing is where the laser beam kicks on and in conjunction with the mirrors it will draw the actual contents of the page image directly on the drum. Now how does it do it? It makes positive charge where the letters, numbers, and characters that comprise the image will be. So the rest of the drum is negative, where the toner will be ultimately on the page is given an opposite charge. And no matter how little you may know about electronics, you've probably heard like charge repels and opposite attracts, and that's true. In the fourth stage, developing, at this point the drum is ready to receive toner on the positively charged areas that represent where the image is. So the toner cartridge has a developing roller that becomes magnetized, it's constantly turning, it pulls in the toner particles from the wet reservoir and adds them to the ever-rotating drum. So what you wind up with is on the drum a picture of the image that will be placed on the paper because the toner is attracted to those positively charged areas. In step five, this is the transfer phase, and this is where the paper actually comes within very close proximity of the photosensitive drum. The paper passes by the transfer corona wire, or in some printers a transfer roller, and the paper receives a big positive charge on its backside. And again, like charges repel, opposites attract. So the paper passes under the negatively charged drum, and the toner is transferred onto the charged paper. Does this seem complicated? Well, I find whenever I explain it with my voice without having some kind of moving animation, it can seem so. So make sure to check out that YouTube animation, and then come back and re-watch this slide, and it'll make much more sense. The final step is called fusing. And as I've already said, this is where the toner that's become transferred to the paper by means of electromagnetic attraction becomes permanently bonded onto the paper. The roller is heated and the toner becomes permanently married to the paper. The process then repeats. The sixth step goes back to step one. The paper gets carried out of the printer into the user's hands and the cleaning blade resets the photosensitive drum for the next image. And if you've ever stood next to a laser printer when it accepts a print job, you can literally hear these drums and these rollers start turning. And I, at least, can smell the ozone as that charge, that sequence of charge cycles occurs.